Hi, family and friends. It's Thursday, April 2nd, and today we're going to pray with a grateful heart. 1 Thessalonians 5 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. James 1, 2-4 in the Passion Translation, I love the Passion Translation, it says, My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up power within you to endure all things. And then as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. That's a reminder of how God works all things together for good to them that love him and called according to his purpose. So today I just want us to take a few moments and express our gratitude and our thankfulness to the Lord. I've asked a couple of cuties to weigh in and tell me what they're thankful for today. Hi guys. So today I want to read out of uh, Psalms 107 verse 1. Uh, it's just a beautiful reminder of God's constant love and faithfulness towards us. So it says in verse 1, Let everybody give all their praise and thanks to the Lord. Here's why. He's better than anyone could ever imagine. Yes, he's always loving and kind, and his faithful love never ends. Um, I think that that's a beautiful reminder in this time, since there is a pandemic racing through the entire world right now. Um, I encourage you to put your focus on his goodness, on his faithfulness, on his love, what he has done for you. Take this time to reflect back on the goodness of God and um, how he has come through for you, how um, he has healed your pain, how he has um, brought clarity to your confusion of things that you might not understand. Let him just wash over you and um, in his faithfulness and his kindness and his love to remind you that he is in this. He sees your pain, he sees your confusion. Let him actually reveal himself through this pandemic, through what the world is going through. Um, I truly believe that he has something specifically for you today um, that he wants you to praise him for, that he wants you to give thanks to him for. So yes, I encourage you and remind you that God is faithful, God is constant, he is always loving and he is always kind. You guys have a great day hey guys um today i am especially uh thankful for my family um i've been away from home for the last nine or so months in california for school um but this pandemic has brought me home and that's been something so special i want to read from uh psalms 133 1. it says behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity um so yeah just being home like We've just been laughing together, having a great time, playing games, eating together. Let me tell you, we have been eating together um, and it's been so good. Um, and I know all of our favorite places are closed. Um, so that's been a bummer, but let me just tell you what my Bible says. It's 1 Corinthians 11, 34. It says, but if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home. And that is exactly what I've been doing. Um, so thank you, Mom, for your amazing cooking. I am very grateful for that. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Today, I am very thankful for God's peace and his strength. Like it says in Isaiah 54, verse 10, God gives strength to his people and he blesses them with peace. Um, I have been speaking that verse over my mind and my heart and my home um, that we have a God who wants to give an abundance of strength and peace, especially during this time. It is scientifically proven that gratitude can actually change us. It changes our health. It changes our brain activity. It releases um, things inside of us that can reduce toxic emotions. It is... Even in the Bible, it says that laughter is a good medicine. So a gratitude, I believe, can lead to laughter, and laughter is a good medicine. And I want to just say right here, one of the things I'm grateful for is the wonderful memes that pop up, even though some are so silly and ridiculous. I just sometimes break out in laughter, and my husband's like, what are you, what are you laughing about? And I'm like, just, it was a cute meme. 
but it's just just that moment of refreshment coming over you because there's joy or happiness in the midst um, of maybe boredom or randomness or just the pressure of the spirit that's in the air. But anyway, um, so gratitude can unshackle us from toxic emotions and it just changes the atmosphere. It is, it is like taking a happy pill. And again, with most of the things we've talked about and most of the principles in scripture, it's something we need to apply. It's something we need to choose to do. So today, as we pray, um, we're going to actually speak out the things we're thankful for. The last scripture is Psalms 104. This is in the Passion Translation. You can pass through his open gates with the password of praise. Come right into his presence with thanksgiving. Come, bring your thank offering to him and affectionately bless his beautiful name. Father, we do come thankful with grateful hearts for so many things. First for you, first for Jesus, the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your promises. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you are constantly opening yourself up and inviting us in to find a safe place, a shelter. You are our stronghold. You are a tower. You are ever-present help in time of trouble. You give us principles and you give us tools to apply to our daily lives to protect our thinking and to protect our health and to bring joy into our atmosphere, to bring things present into our lives that will bless us and bless our families. And I thank you that you have allowed thankfulness. It's so easy just to switch over and say, I am thankful. And what that does, not only to ourselves, but to others. So I am thankful. I'm thankful for the simplest of things. I'm thank you for warmth, a safe home. I'm thank you for shelter. Just speak out 10 things of what you're thankful for right now. Just speak them out. 10 things that you're thankful for. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for friends. I'm thankful for technology that enables us to connect so quickly. I'm thankful for the food. I'm thankful for creativity, for the things that are that are being shared on Facebook that bring us joy and and uh, shift our, our thought processes maybe from concern into laughter. I'm thankful for fresh air. I'm thankful for sunshine. I'm thankful for um, hope. I'm thankful for those who are able to make a difference uh, in the hospitals, in the nursing homes, those who are providing comfort and care for those in need. I'm thankful for prayer, that we don't just sit here idly stewing over people that we know that are desperate and critical, but that we have a power and we can pray. And we do that, we pray. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are hurting right now. We pray for those who are mourning. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for all of this and more. And just help us, remind us throughout the day to, to speak out the things we're grateful for, to change the atmospheres that we have influence over and to have and carry a grateful heart. In all these things we pray in Jesus' name. God bless you all, and I'm thankful for you.